My name is Kiran Kumar Visa. I'm from an organization called Raitu Swaraj Vedika, which works with farmers, small and marginal farmers in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. So we walked with Rahul Gandhi ji for some time. He was also asking about the various issues farmers are facing here. Particularly, we had a conversation about how only land owning farmers are getting a lot of benefits, but the farmers who take land on lease and cultivate are not getting any benefits. Whereas the tenant farmers who are cultivating are going into debt and committing suicides in large numbers. 30% of agriculture in Telangana is done by tenant farmers who take other farmers land on lease and cultivate. They not only have the same expenses for cultivation, they also pay a lease. 15,000 crore rupees are being set, spent by the Telangana government on the right to buy the scheme. It's all going to large farmers or landowners who are not doing cultivation. So why would you do that? See, the chief minister has taken a stand that uh, we don't recognize tenant farmers as farmers. We have to protect the farmer, of course, in agriculture, but we also have to protect him with support systems which are not necessarily in agriculture. But main thing I'd like to say is that uh, we are sensitive to the issues and the difficulty that farmers are facing. And we are very interested in improving their situation. Rahul Gandhiji was very sympathetic and uh, he was very supportive about these issues. We realized that this is not just about Congress party, but this is about uniting the country against the forces of divisive hatred. We find that there is an outreach from Rahul Gandhiji to listen to the voices of common people whose voices are not heard in the parliament, they are not heard in the legislature, they are not heard a lot of times even in the media. Bharat Joda Yatra is very important for this country. A lot of civil society organizations and people's organizations are participating in this Yatra because uh, they want to express solidarity with the overall objectives of the Yatra. People like us who are not affiliated with any political party, we feel that this is a very crucial juncture where the human rights and constitutional rights and democracy are under a big threat.